Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Magic and Miracles, where you learn how to be the magician of your life. My name is Anna, and I'm your most favorite manifestation life energy coach. <laughs> this is my title now. <laughs> Three different things. I teach people how to manifest with their energy. Nobody has a coaching program like I have because I've developed it myself. During the last nine years that I've been a coach, and nobody spends as much time with and on their clients like I do. True story. I don't just help you bring back your SP, I really do help you revolutionize your life um, in every department of your life. Please come prepared to work, to coach with me. Don't rebuttal me, uh, don't rebuttal my methods, don't question them. They've worked tremendously well with everybody who's taken my advice to heart and really showed up to work. If you do this, you will succeed. Um, in order to be in coaching with me, you need to pre-book, sign the coaching agreement and reach out to me with your earliest possibility of getting on the phone or in a Zoom session. Uh, we rendezvous two to three times per week in my coaching and um, I recommend two to three months in coaching with me for the full procedure, if you will, to cover my coaching program. Um, in earnest, some of you will uh, require more. Some of you, two months is just fine. It depends on the situation. There are other packages on my website, but in particular, the entry-level coaching um, that you can sign up for is the monthly, um, are the monthly audios. Um, a must have either way, um, full of exercises, um, deeper conversations on topics like maneuvering energy, specific people, etc. A lot of the things that I will share in my book whenever I'll get to it. But for now, it's an audios that I sent out three times per week. They're about 30 minutes long each and the video school, uh, which is a one time deal as opposed to the audios. Um, these are 12 videos covering my coaching program, but it's a do it yourself. Nevertheless, both packages have done extraordinarily well, if I do say so myself. Otherwise, I would not um, hold on to them. I've tried different other things before. They didn't work as well as they, you know, as I would like, would have liked them to. And um, I've changed things around. If you have any questions before booking, please reach out to me. All the information is below. So I usually um, record an audio as a follow-up um, to live. And yesterday was really a fun time for me because I really felt like I did um, channel the most that I could channel <laughs> on the topic of God state. And if you haven't watched it yet, go ahead and watch it. It's pretty damn good if I just say so myself again. So there are times when I really hit it. I know when I do, <laughs> and that's one of them. Um, so I, I know my material is great, and you know, wait till you hear my monthly audios, but I really know when I hit a home run, and that, um, that in particular, that live is a home run. Um, and it's funny because, you know, uh, <laughs> whenever I, I, I do pay attention to how many people watch what and this and that, and it's so really funny to me when um, and encourages me actually to do what I do the way that I do it, um, because whenever I put out an audio or have ever put out an audio or a live <laughs> in terms or video in terms of how to change yourself, how to achieve God's state, how to, you know, really the, the, where, where the attention is actually directed at you, right? It's always not as much attention, uh, inevitably, as um, if the title says anything about a specific person. And that is endlessly fascinating to me, endlessly, endlessly. And I'm, again, encouraged ever so much still to do what I do, which is redirect your attention completely, because there's a whole like hysteria around the subject on the internet. And everybody's got their fucking opinion and, and a video and, and an advice and this and that. Most of it is crap. All right, let's just get real here. This is why I started my channel, I, um, basically speaking, um, and 
this is actually, this is why I started talking about specific people in particular, but why I started my channel was because I wanted to just, all, you know, overall explain manifestation being about who you are, essentially, and not what you, is you kind of affirmations that you do, et cetera, et cetera. And so I kind of wanted to follow up, follow up on the kind of like the questions that I've had in live from Liz V and um, Dancing Cloud 8. And I have a very interesting comment I want to read because as I was sitting here contemplating whether or not I should record right now, um, because I was just going to enjoy my day off, um, an email popped up with a comment that I found very interesting and I'm going to address that one as well. So... In many ways, I try to kind of like explain what worked for me many times um, in my life. Um, and I never put out my personal life today <laughs> on the internet, uh, and that will not change. Um, if I share, I share uh, my personal life in coaching when I feel comfortable with somebody. So um, I just don't feel, I just don't feel it's right. I feel it's, you know, with, you know, with respect to my partner, etc. I want to really um, uh, be aware of that. But what I can say is that everything that I'm recording and everything that I'm teaching is backed up by experience, hardcore experience. And this is exactly what um, I'm teaching here, not a theory, a complete practical application um, of everything. And so with regards to, for example, Liz, uh, Liz V's, <laughs> sorry, so, such a tongue twister for a Russian born <laughs> coach, um, for, for uh, the question um, that Liz had for me, and actually, Dancing Cloud, it, it was a similar situation. Um, there is no way you can fuck up a relationship until, uh, unless you're really done with that person, okay? And more or less, most people that come to me um, for coaching are people pleasers. And so what ends up happening a lot, I feel, in, in these types of relationships is that you think that by expressing your anger or by expressing yourself in some kind of way, um, by being authentic uh, to your truth, even in anger, is sexy to me. Yeah, there, I said it. Being authentic to your emotions. Now, oftentimes a people pleaser afterwards feels regretful, feels embarrassed for expressing their anger. And I'm here to tell you, if you get to know yourself and really, first of all, address where this anger even is coming from, where does the necessity, you know, to think this way comes from, whatever. I don't know much about that specific situation, obviously, but um, I can almost guarantee that if there is a conflict, if there is an emotion bursting up, there's something needs to be worked out, something needs to be let go of. And so... In those situations, I just want you to know you're allowed to be angry. You're a person, you're a human being. You are going to get angry. There's going to be anger. Of course, I draw the line at abuse, right? Don't fucking be abusive to another person and don't accept abuse from others. Very important. And abuse takes different forms, okay? The most dangerous one is the emotional and psychological abuse. So if you are simply angry and you're expressing this, I don't care what you say to this person, unless it's something really damaging, okay? And in terms of, you know, I don't care if you say, you know, uh, I'm breaking up with you, I don't think so, blah, 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 you know, uh, accusing you of cheating, this, that, and the other. Like, as long as you're not being abusive, all right? Again, to reiterate, all of this can be fixed in terms of you understanding first who you are, why you felt the need to do this versus some other thing, okay, that perhaps would have been more um, more calm, more collected, more kind of like, you know, on purpose, right? Um, and then to forgive yourself for being human, for having some issues, okay? 
you have if you have some kind of built up emotion stored away, you are to deal with it, and you're allowed these things. Everybody's allowed to fuck up, okay? And it's not really a fuck up; it's just being human. It really just comes down to that, and you will find that when you work that shit out, whatever's bothering you, whatever's the program, this and that, chances are this is not the first time or whatever. And I'm not trying to, you know, portray this like you know somebody you know who has like one anger outburst ha- is having those repeatedly or whatever. I don't know your situation. You know your situation. The idea is if something happens and you feel out of control. To get back into control, you really need to understand what's happening right now, and I bet you money if you really figure that shit out, it really isn't about that person, and therefore, if it isn't about this person, then the way that they feel in response to you expressing what you need to express is entirely up to you. It's entirely up to you. You blaming yourself for being yourself for being authentically you corresponds to their you know subconscious and they start feeling a certain other way. Change that and they will change their mind about it. They will come back and they will be ever so forgiving. In fact, they will apologize. And again, to every story, there's two different ways of looking at it, or maybe more. You know because. Once you've dealt and processed what it is that was really at hand there, you might change your mind about what actually happened, and with that, you might not feel so down on yourself. Okay, it could be that there was no other way to react, perhaps to the way they were treating you. It could be simply that you understand now. Um, where the anger and frustration lie from, where the programming is, and you know what? It's such a beautiful thing when you can actually forgive yourself and allow yourself to feel exactly how you feel, without prejudice, without judgment, without um wanting it to be different. Wanting somebody else to be different. Everybody's just on their journey, and so if you keep that in mind. Um, when you're judging yourself, when you're being so harsh on yourself, etc., etc., it's a fucking journey. Enjoy the ride, really. Just enjoy the ride. But in essence, it's exactly what I said in in life. Whenever you change your mind about what actually happened, and the story can be rewritten many different ways. May I say to you, I've done this in my own personal life. Completely top to bottom, redid the narrative of certain situations. Now. It, you know, again, you be the judge of what's believable to you. What's believable to me today may not be believable to another person. So again, just to add to what I said in life, don't try so hard to get to a good result. Really be allowing, you know, towards yourself to work through the layers of everything you need to work through, because. I can tell you almost like in the first week of coaching, I can tell you what it is you need to fix, but it would be too abrupt. It would be too. I mean, and in fact, I do do say that. But for you to change, it it's a process. It's a rewiring of your mind, and it would be too abrupt for you to start. You know, even pretending like even though logically you understand what you need to do. In practice, it does take rewiring. Your brain, just on a chemical level, gets used to new ideas, new ideas. Okay, and then once you get to the, you know complete understanding, what tip tips you off, what pisses you off, what makes you happy, what you know is there some drama still to work through this and any other. When you know yourself inside and out, and you've taken the time and given yourself. Um, the opportunity to get better emotionally—it's a huge thing to to have an emotional shift, and that more than anything I achieve in in my clients, provided they're willing to do the work. Okay, just saying, I've had a couple of people here and there where it's like, you know, they don't even want to utter anything negative in coaching. Okay, how do we do that? So you're perfect. Goodbye. That to me honestly screams I need help even more than I realize because if you're fearful of something negative,、uh, so much so you don't want to utter it, 
in coaching, okay, um, there's deep reservoirs or shit that you need to work through. Just saying. So in essence, is the self-love needs to be on such a high level, such a pure, high, authentic level that you allow yourself to be angry without judging yourself. You allow yourself to quote unquote fuck up. You allow yourself different things as long as you're not being abusive. You're a human being. You're here to learn. You're here to explore. In that state, you can create fucking magic because you're on board with your God state. You're not judging yourself. You don't think it's the end of the world. You don't depend on one person to like, you know what I mean, to to make it or or break it in terms of your mood in in the day. That is, you know what I mean, getting behind the wheel again and starting to drive the fucking Rolls Royce that is you, your life, okay? And I really feel like I continuously mock other coaches on, on YouTube because, listen, I've yet to see a good one. I'm just saying, other than the teachers, I always um, um, either quote or um, give examples of, like Benny Massaro and Bentinho Massaro and, you know, Greg Braden and James Lipton and Joe Dispenza, uh, you know, and blue, blah, blah, of course, Neville and um, Scoville Shin, you know, that one. Um, just either the, the really old school guys or the guys that are literally like, you know, genuine, hardcore, uh, really, you know, educated and have done it themselves, okay? And it's a known fact that they've done it themselves. Not the parroting back of Neville Goddard till the end of motherfucking time, having no experience of your own. And so what, what happens a lot, and I think this is why I continue doing what I do, is I want to really send the message loud and clear. Your SP is not changing, is not coming back if you're not changing. If you're not changing your fucking life, if day in and day out you're changing nothing about yourself or about the way you live your life, your SP is not coming back. You know why? Not because you're not pretty enough, you're not good enough or whatever. You could be the perf- the most perfect, respectable, beautiful, kind, mesmerizing person and your self-esteem is in the toilet and therefore your life is kind of like shaky, okay? And therefore your vibration is shaky, you have no confidence and therefore you're not magnetic. You're just not. That's it. You're too concerned about how to people please. You're too concerned about what other people are saying and giving too much power away. Not enough power is being held within, if any. Okay. So if you really want to bring back your SP or do whatever, bring back your company, bring back your millions, bring back whatever, uh, or create millions and create the abundance in your life and do ba do ba do and the body and the this and the that, um, guess what? Things are going to have to change around here. You can't be doing the same old shit and just listening to videos nonstop um, on YouTube and do nothing, like literally just apply some affirmations, some techniques, and this and that and the other. Who are you fucking kidding? Like seriously though, right now, you know? And so I really am amused when people come into coaching with me and they say to me, Anna, I've been on this journey for 10 years or whatever it happens to be. I'm like, what journey? You know, finding out all of this stuff and reading and and watching YouTube videos. I'm like, great. (laughs) This is not a journey, darling. That you know about it is fantastic. But the journey begins when you start working on yourself. I'm so sorry to break it to you. Otherwise, you're just an observer. It's like, you know, if somebody went to Disneyland and you only got kind of like some pictures of it. (laughs) great. You didn't go to Disneyland though. You just got some pictures that somebody else went to Disneyland. All right. Learning about it, learning exactly what you need to do, which is why like I bring it my all to coaching and teach you just about every fucking trick that I can possibly, um, you know, remember because I have so many and I teach you the magic spells, and I teach you the energy work, and I teach you this, that how to revise correctly, how to script correctly, 
everything, but learning and really fusing with this knowledge, it just takes time, which is why two to three months. But even after that, you continue and continue, continue. Your self-esteem, your confidence is the name of the game. If you, if you don't have that right now, maybe it's shaken, maybe you never developed it, I don't know right now. Sometimes people have confidence at work and they don't have any confidence uh, you know, in love life, things like that. Having confidence is the name of the game. Being completely so self-assured in the most healthy way, res- in a respectful way uh, towards yourself, in a loving way towards yourself is where it's at. And I think, I believe Liz uh, V also said, um, I don't believe that I can affect my SP energetically. Well, then (laughs) go ahead and watch 300 million videos on YouTube, just kidding, uh, where they will teach you yet another fucking technique and recite back Neville Goddard yet again. Um, Energy is all we have. This is why your beliefs create an automatic pilot. They produce a, a different kind of energy. If you look at your mom and dad, let's just say, and if you're one of those lucky ones and, you know, you really love and adore your parents and, the, you know, they are your role model, fucking fantastic. But if you look at your parents, like I can look at my parents and I could be like, wow, I'm so glad I'm not you because you have a lot of limited ideas that are fucking bullshit. And just, you know, for me, it took, you know, a little bit to unravel all that crap. That is completely, but it's just a story. They keep telling themselves that story. And in their reality, it comes true, you know, kind of deal. So that energy needs to go of what it is that you bought into, even though right now you may not even realize how much it affects you. If your reality is not working in some kind of way and there are similarities between you and your parents um, or somebody else you dislike uh, that you grew up with, (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Um, Chances are you picked up a lot more than you realize. The end. And that does not belong to you. Give people back their bullshit. And now I'm going to answer this peculiar comment. Hold on one second. Just want to make sure. So Xenia... This is the comment that came in as I was getting ready to record. I'm going to read the comment. Good day. Do you teach how to achieve the seemingly or according to society, biology, unrealistic and unnatural manifestations and maintain them daily for the remainder of the avatar incarnation, such as bringing back specific versions of people after decades, such as they are married with family, but bring the version that never did that bringing back a pet after they have passed, and bearing children till the end. Thank you. Okay, um, Xenia, you've won the lottery. Congratulations. You get your um, comment answered uh, in an audio form. <laughs> First of all, um, I believe that you're new to my channel, so go check out. I have a truckload of um, audios on a specific person. As discussed in my life, though, um, bringing back pets or people after death, I, one, would not recommend it, um, and two, you know, why, you know? I think some aspects of our human life is, is just what it is, and there should be some kind of respect towards that, you know? Um, that kind of attachment I don't think is even healthy. Now, I won't say that crazy things have not happened in terms of jumping timelines and realities. Um, and people have, and I've, you know, I've heard stories from my clients, etc., where they have um, seen somebody to have a last conversation, basically, with someone who they didn't even know that passed um, and that showed up to them. But bringing back a person um, from the dead I, you know, I just don't think that that's a good idea for many reasons. Uh, One of them is just respecting. And if that person chose to bow out, just that's, that is the decision. And I discussed that in in live. Now, in terms of um, bringing back somebody who got married, I've done that also in my coaching. Um, Again, it has to do with jumping realities, jumping timelines, where 
um, you rendezvous with the virgin that was going to end the marriage, their marriage anyway. So you're not really influencing the marriage itself. You're just connecting to the parallel version who um, just decided that a long time before you even showed up. Because, listen, the truth is, if, if you showed up in somebody's reality, by the way, and they happen to be married, and you feel like it's a real connection, not some kind of like one and done, um, if you really feel like you love this person, there's a reason why you showed up in their reality. But you don't need to do anything, you know, in, in 3D. I would not recommend that. I would just sooner go and uh, work to work on yourself and line up with that version. It's a lot easier than doing anything, nor should you. And since reality can be reinterpreted different many ways, you can totally, it's, it's so easy, it's totally achievable. Um, those are not, you know, to me, they're not taboo things at all. Because um, I've seen that in my coaching, I've done it myself. Every scenario, though, that you are encountering in your life, I think it's worth mentioning that you should learn from it. Some kind of information that's coming to you. There's always a message, and I've touched on that in, in live, that beliefs are literally the kind of like, they're out picturing constantly in your reality, right? So if you don't like something, you need to go in and change it so that automatically it produces a different reality, right? So kind of like a movie strip, right? Looking through um, a, a different kind of movie strip produces a different reality. So if on your movie strip you have residue of old beliefs, you know, the reality is still kind of shitty, right? But in order to achieve this, again, kind of like doing a full circle here, achieve this resonance with whatever it is you're manifesting, whatever reality, anything is achievable um, in terms of bringing back things, manifesting this and that. <clears throat> it's like, you know, I see it like this, right? Um, and this is very much what I do on a daily basis. It's kind of like Uber, <laughs> You know, have you ever called the Uber? Um, uh, and it's kind of typing in your information, right? And then you wait for somebody to be available um, in your area. And so it's exactly the same thing with creating anything. Your energy produces the outcome. What, what kind of driver is going to show up? What kind of car? If you are in resonance with the frequency where things go according to your decisions, then that frequency will produce all the outcomes that you prefer. If you go in into the app, in quotations, of life with the frequency of, you know, whatever, I'm in a bad mood, I'm having a day, all of the, you know, the driver will be whatever, stinky. <laughs> It will smell like cigarettes in the car, you know, the, the car will be driving funky. You, you get the message, very simplistically put. So your resonance with yourself, like your vibration, the kind of vibration that you put out into the world, having changed yourself, having upgraded your wardrobe, having upgraded your physique, having upgraded your mind, very important. <laughs> your emotional stability, your self-respect, the things you do, the kind of money you make, very important still. That frequency delivers everything you want because you're in that frequency of like, I am in God's state. I am in God's state and therefore it's a higher frequency from which I operate. That will bring a completely different result. But Going around the internet and finding for yet another technique when the technique is you, I find that amusing, really, truly. <laughs> you should arrive at this conclusion, um, at this point, at this juncture in your life when you can easily say, I am God and whatever I say goes in my reality. 
So I don't need to recite affirmations. I don't need to fucking even script. Okay, I want you to get to this point. I do still script from time to time, like something really important. But if it's something like, you know, getting a message or whatever, like I just do it in my head. Oh, parenthesis here. I really wanted to share this <laughs> now that I've recorded like 29 minutes already. Uh, um, the other day, I think it was last week. <laughs> It was an experiment. Here it goes to show, like, you can manifest anything. Um, I was experimenting, and I said um, to my higher self, um, I really want to feel like a person who doesn't um, channel, okay, who doesn't channel and who is, quote-unquote, normal, meaning not really connected to a higher self, okay, just one of these people who is completely, you know, just life is just very generic and it's very whatever. Um, there's no meaning other than 3D. Let's just say that. Okay. Oh, my God. And I experienced that feeling of like complete emptiness for like a couple of days. It was funny. It was funny. It was very uh, dull. <laughs> and boring and so I said okay let, let me snap me back in and so I started you know because when I channel I literally hear it you know like I have visions like visually in my head and words and you know kind of like um, ideas etc cetera, etc cetera, that I need to hit in the audio and so I wanted to experience you know experience what that's like without it and it was really boring um <laughs> That, I think, is also another thing that you want to develop to be the channel of your higher self. Your higher self is constantly giving you messages, inspirations, you know, um, ideas, etc., etc., on how to get to where you want to go. It's so your right hand, it's not even funny. So if you'll know you're in God's state, if you'll know that you have immense power you have the higher self on your side and it sees things just that you're not aware of it just delivers things that you can possibly know how you have it made thank you very much for listening all the information from me is below until next time ciao ciao